Hello everybody again and welcome to another episode of Stock Talk. I am your host Mike and here with me to host again is your favorite, the one and only... Kage, how's it going? (laughs) Yeah, good to see you there Kage again. Uh, So apparently Kage, we have a couple people that don't want the AMC drawing gift card. I'm about ready to keep it myself or just give it to you or whatever and we'll go see a movie. Uh, But apparently... either way. Yeah. are not grabbing for it so it's gonna go to someone else yeah wants it. yeah exactly so, so so people remember the old rule the squeaky wheel gets the grease well i was i was just hoping that uh christian guzman and price rescue would grab it so they could just have it you know just uh but i'm gonna i'm gonna spin the wheel here the wheel of doom i've got my uh things here uh i've got one i just pulled out let's see who the magic winner is and the winner is Simple Beast. So Simple Beast, you are the next person to claim the gift card. You got 24 hours to claim it by tomorrow at this showtime. If you do, I'll I'll reach out to you. If you don't uh, respond, then we will give it to some. We will draw again. Uh, today's show, uh, Kage, is brought to you by Fiber Stem. Fiber Stem delivers 200 milligrams of caffeine, straight lead, into your system. Now, I recommend this, This, if you take a whole scoop, let's go round off this scoop here. 100 mil, uh, this is 200 milligrams of caffeine. If you're hypersensitive to caffeine, do not put this in your juice drink. You will be wired and you will be pissing your pants. So uh, with it, it has 3 grams of fiber, but you don't drink the fiber. The main ingredient, which is healthy for you, is the green tea. Now this has pure caffeine green tea extract in it. Uh, So you can get this up at your health stores. Don't confuse it with Buck Up or anything. Uh, But it does does have a good logo on there. They did improve it. It was in the red. Uh, But it's 199 milligrams of caffeine. Don't load up on this stuff too much. Uh, you know, but if you need a little extra caffeine in your juice and you don't want to have soda and stuff like that, this is a great kick me off from soda. So it's fiber stem. Check it out today. Now back to the stocks. We've done our uh, promoting of what we have to do because that's what we promote. But today's show was sponsored by that because, well, they make good drinks and, uh, you need epigallatin galley and that's what is in green tea. So helps your immune system. That's all we're going to say. But 200 milligrams throwing that back ain't going to help your immune system there, right, Kage? Yeah, don't uh, don't go overboard with it. <laughs> yeah, you go overboard with that, you're going to be having uh, you're going to be having friends, family, and coworkers uh, be uh, getting pissed at you because you got jittery jittery Johnny and you're and running going to the bathroom too much. Yeah, and you're going to the bathroom several times, and your boss is like, dude, you just pissed like five minutes ago, and you're like. Oh crap! I shouldn't have drank that fiber stem. Do not take 200 milligrams and freaking do another 200 milligrams after that. You will be at the whizzer, or you could be uh, passed out because you drank too much caffeine. So, but it is a gradual step down from soda if you want to get away from soda and mix it with your juice. Just go on the light side, maybe a quarter of a scoop, maybe get around 40 or 50 or 30, somewhere around that range. But uh, we're going to go to the stocks now because that's what this show is all about. It's not about drinking caffeine. Uh, Kage, the first stock I have is HYSR. Uh, and forgive me if I look at it too close because I know some of you don't like it when I read from certain things. But I've got to look at what I'm talking about. I am nearsighted, so forgive me for a disability. Uh, so it looks like it's Sun Hydrogen Incorporated. Last tick was 0.0540. Now, Kage, interesting enough... We go into uh, the Brandon or Q card moment of this stock, like every of the stocks, the hype around January after the election. This thing's up at uh, close to about three bucks. Then uh, what happens as nothing gets done in Washington, you get sky fall going through the window and you're down, you're down, you're down. But the good news about being down to five cents now after being at the... Uh, bigger mark there is that uh, there is opportunity. There's several opportunities and several buy points. I could circle them for you, but you kind of know your buy. If you're watching the show, you kind of know some of the buy points. If you want us to do a buy point show, hey, leave it in the comment section. It does get you into an, an entry 
of the anniversary uh, of Apes and everything like that and the AMC gift card. Uh, do you have anything to add as far as uh, the ups and downs of this with Q card, Brandon, and all that? Um, I'm looking at the year today or the year stock, and it looks like uh, if you want to get on the cheap for uh, short-term gains, uh, yeah, this is probably for you the best time to buy. But mm -hmm. if you are looking for like long-term, uh, long-term game, you probably may want to steer clear. Mm -hmm. Or yeah. Yeah, and and your other thing to deal with this is uh one nerf ner one thing that's kind of could get you on pins and needles. Most I don't know if a lot of you know this, but most of your uh solar panels things like that because this is what we're going into on this one are manufactured in China. So supply chain issues things like that. Uh, uh Kage, do you remember the time of uh, I had a, a an order of basketballs and it pretty much probably could be still sitting off the coast? of uh, I California. You were talking about that yeah. for a month or so. Yeah, that order is canceled because we never got that. And uh, I could just tell you that you you could have all this stuff and say, oh, dude, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. But if you can't get those boats unloaded, uh, you're not going to get anything to that. So, so that's why we're seeing kind of these. I'm not saying I'm, I'm against green energy. I like clean air and clean water and everything like that. But I also like a supply chain and a supply chain moving and things like that. If you're going to get some of these projects done, uh, you got to get the boats offloaded and you got to get freaking figure out how to get people off to work not to get political or anything But we got to get moving here people like uh, You know, there's too much uh, There's too much money out there and there's not enough uh, There's not there's not enough uh, as far as a uh, uh, production there's not enough manpower mm -hmm. out there to really Yeah, keep it moving. And, and that's not that's not gonna help your dollar. So if you take my advice if you're out there, please Get out to work. If you could do anything, I mean, if you could go and do DoorDash or go do something minor to help. I mean, I've got an aunt. She's been out of a job in New York for uh, she does she does she did clothing line for Burlington or one of those to the effects. Her job basically got folded up and everything. Do you know what she did just because she didn't want to sit around and uh, she wanted to actually make a difference and stuff? She, she got a job at freaking Lowe's. You know, this woman was. This woman was making $300,000 a year, but decided she didn't want to sit around the house and so she just got a $20 an hour job working at Lowe's. So that's what I'm saying is we got to keep things moving because uh, we got to, we got, we just got to get back to normal here. That's, that's all I'm saying. Regardless of what party you are, we got to get this country moving back again and we got to start thinking of America and I'll just leave it at that without going on my tangent there. Uh, it looks like going into the company Looks like they engage in the gener uh, the generation and marketing of renewable energy. Uh, it's developed a novel sol solar powered uh, nanoparticle system that mimics photosynthesis and separate hydrogen from water. Uh, the firm also intends for technology for the system to be licensed and for the production of renewable hydrogen uh, to produce renewable energy and hydrogen for fuel cells. The company was founded in Santa Barbara, the People's Republic of Santa Barbara. Got anything to add there so far, uh, Kage? Uh, not so far, but I'm ju I'm just looking at all these uh, different uh, different messages people are sending about this company on mm -hmm. uh, Stockwitz, and uh, it looks like a lot of them are saying bullish. It looks like uh, moving upwards away from the signal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's one thing to take into account. This this is one of the most talked about stocks on google right now so there could be some promoters in there that have infiltrated i know there's going to be some loyal people that you can pick out on but this this is they're somewhat currently promoted so just because we're talking about it does not mean to jump into it this stock is being promoted on some sites so you're going to see you'll go into some of these chat boards and some of them are trying to get you to take the bait you do not want if you're new you do not want to take the bait that's what we're here for we're here to tell you that we separate the signal from the noise uh, as far as some of this, how this goes. So, because we try to protect you and uh, we're not trying to, uh, we're not paid shills or anything like that. Uh, we've got our own advertising, things like that. We've got businesses and things like that. So, uh, if we're getting paid, uh, you're getting paid as far as that. Uh, if we're getting some of the, we're going to share the, if we get some kind of hookup, uh, we're giving out some of the love and we're not going to give out uh, free things as supplements for this kind of stuff or V8 energies and stuff. I know we gave out Guru one time. 
uh, if I if I get paid uh, some G's for some stuff or Kage does, we're gonna be giving out better prizes than this. So uh, it looks like Sun Hydrogen's technology has a capacity to disrupt uh, existing energy economies across the wide range of sectors, including transportation, industry, shipping, where fossil fuels are predominantly used. First question there. We'd love to see some of that stuff happen. Uh, but I'm thinking uh, you're going to need a lot of stuff to compete with coal, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure China's going to walk off the thing yet. I'm just I'm just throwing out my skeptical opinion about this because I don't drink all the Kool Aid. What about you? Mm. I uh, I don't drink the Kool Aid either. And before we actually go full deep dive into this pool and everything, you might want to try to dip your toe in first and see what's what's good and what's not yeah because this uh, because we're still not out of the uh age of hydrocarbons yet. yeah exactly we, we, we still need to have trucks on the roads mm -hmm. delivering things yeah we still need to implement some kind of uh a transition period where we're where we're not necessarily as dependent and, and but you until but until that uh, transition period is extended longer where the the technology is where it's supposed to be where it's actually reliable mm -hmm. and not unstable like it is yeah right now, we we're still going to be using uh gas and coal and nuclear yeah and you you've heard the stories where uh, uh cameo has been saying that some of those electric, uh, the, the the trucks that carry that he's been involved in, they only go a certain amount of t a certain amount of miles, and they're toasty, dude. They're not moving any far. So if you got a bunch of those going around and you're expecting supplies in certain these cities, you ain't getting it if that thing's not working. And if there's a problem with the uh, power to run some of those things, there's going to be a lot of supply chain. You think you think uh, supply chain breakdowns are bad now? You ain't seen nothing if that kind of stuff happens. It'll be it'll make this look like a picnic. So, uh, going to how it works, they're splitting water into uh, H2 and HO HO2. So uh, what they do is each PAH nanoparticle is microscopic machine composed of multiple layers, enabled the solar electrosis reaction to take place in the process similar to what happens with a plant cell during photosynthesis. So we're going back to basic uh, introduction of biology here. Powered by solar energy, billions of microscopic nanoparticles split apart in the water molecule level, extracting hydrogen for use as clean energy source, leaving behind clean energy as a bioproduct. So you can see their little uh, graph they have on the screen uh, where they talk about uh, the, the panel of nanoparticle cells. Uh, th they says this re revolutionary scalable technology will bundle billions of nanoparticles together to create solar hydrogen panels. These panels will be massively produced and implemented globally in smaller and localized settings in high production farms. The, the, the question on this one, now we are located, it is located in the People's Republic of California, but as a, as, a, as a skeptic, who controls where where all that comes from and where it's made and things like that we do remember we do remember solyndra if you can recall i think it's a dump now isn't it or an abandoned building yeah or, it's uh it doesn't look good no it, isn't it isn't it like a soda shop now or something like that or some kind of like uh I, I don't know just an abandoned building we'll just call it that way maybe maybe it, we should actually look this we should look up online see where that's out but that's for another show uh they're saying that the central uh, production, the old and dirty way, the current method of scalable hydrogen production is environmentally unsound. Over 95% of uh, hydro, hydrogen comes from fossil fuels, from like oil, coal, natural gas, and the drive up of carbon emissions. High capital investment for H2 delivery and transport infrastructure, high carbon footprint. Now, some of my thing where I feel like that why this hasn't gone up more than what it should be uh, Kage, not saying it's not a good thing to invest in is because they haven't seen that Dollaruski flow because we're still having this debate with Manchin and everything. He kind of went off on, uh, he doesn't want to go the six point something trillion without getting political here. What say you? Mm. Yeah, they uh, watch what they're doing, not what they're saying. And uh, mm -hmm. 
some people are not willing to put their money where their mouth is. So. Yeah, exactly. So Sun Hydrogen's methodology is efficient, distributed, uh, cost-effective, and truly clean and green. Uh, the future is now zero carbon footprint, low capital investments for transport and delivery, and viable economic approach. They're saying on zooming in on this, they use on-site solar hydrogen generation, then they have the local distribution, and then they have it to the end user, to the green, green electricity, to uh, the green electricity pump. Now they have the patents granted. They have a photosynthetically uh, synth uh, active he uh, heterostructure, a U.S. Uh, patent publication, uh, methods for manufacturing, uh, U.S. patent public. They have several. All their grants and publications are listed on there. Uh, what What are you pulling up on investors and stuff like that? Besides, uh, the t I, I'll pull up some of the team team there if you want to check that out, and we can look at the team. Uh, and see where where we're going with that real quick, and see what what kind of investor, so we can see uh, where we're going here. Uh, checks out Tim Young. You do have uh, Wu Su Kim, Chief Operating Officer. You also have uh, Jun Li, Director of Technology, and then Saeed Saeed Wajin, and then you also have Wei Jing Chang and Blake Bryson. So you have you have you have a great uh, you know multicultural list of people there that looks good and everything like that they look like a killer team there it looks like they're awesome uh any investigations into the background of uh of who they are and things like that or did you see anything on stockwitz or they everybody looks pretty good on there uh it just looks uh like everything's pretty good out there like there was uh, a lot of comments around uh two o'clock that's were very very positive mm-hmm um uh i guess some like at the close and everything uh there were more people wanting to uh i don't know uh keep other people from buying and everything because they wanted to take more of those shares oh okay so, um yeah, that's my that's i'm just trying to read between the lines no you're good we that's the thing on this show is we're straight shooters we want to know uh who the investors are we want to know what partnerships and things like that. Because we you don't want to get into something... I'm going to tell you this right now. This thing is currently being promoted and it's at $0.05. Cents. On Friday, because when Ski Low Friday comes and you can even speed on the highway, booze and boats and all that kind of good stuff, they could short out on this thing and this thing could be $0.05 cents and it could be 3 or 2 They could just cash out and run. That's just the way these happen. These are the most risky stocks sometimes to get of these promotions. Uh, if you go by what Ricky Gutierrez says, which he's 100% correct on this, and some of the other traders, uh, pretty much a lot of them don't trade anything below a dollar because that's how much risk these things have. You can get taken really hard. So if you're going to dump your money into some of these things, you've got to watch yourself because you can get taken very badly. So don't put all your eggs in one basket and make informed decisions. Um, they've got news posted on their website uh, as far as uh, what what they chose to put on there. Hey there, Kage. So just going on the alphabet news, there's nothing really popping except for three weeks ago, October 11th, we had an article that says that they, they're the developer, obviously, of the technology to produce renewable energy using sunlight water today. Uh, they have a, they, they ought, with the partnership Sun Hydrogen, uh, will look to develop a t and test a highly efficient a catalyst for oxygen and hydrogen evolution to lower the cost of materials while maintaining solar hydrogen conversion efficiency. The university team will also perform, perform robust technological services assessment to hydrogen's overall process. So that's with the University of Michigan for the next 12 months. Uh, the work will be led by Dr. Uh, Singh, Assistant Professor of Chemical Engineering in Michigan. The team will consist of Dr. Singh and two uh, postdoctoral scientists. The work will take place in conjunction with collaboration of the existing development partners of the University of Iowa and uh, Schmid Group Redbox. So uh, it looks like Dr. Singh has exceptional track record in optimizing electrochemical process to effectively utilize re re renewable electricity. So if Dr. Singh hits this one, you're going to see another news pop. My advice is I would wait to see where this goes and if you can get in cheap. Obviously, if we're being promoted right now, the, the next pop will be the news break. 
whether you get in and lock your profits, it's up to you. Do you have anything that you're seeing on your end on Stockwitz, like any news articles anybody else posted before we move on to the next? I haven't seen any other news articles, no. No, uh, no graphs, no, no other big, uh, big news. Okay. So what we'll do on this one is we'll call this one a watch. And uh, we'll move on to the next stock and uh, see what we got going on. I, I think we got a couple good uh, biopharmas, things like that we're going to check out. But this one's fairly cheap to get into. It's one of those ones where you want to find a cheap buy point, I would say. I wouldn't say go out and buy it right now on Fidelity or anything like that. What I would say is I would look to find out if you can get in cheap. And then it's probably a long-term hold, wouldn't you say? more short term with this one but if you want you can you can go long term if you want but i just keep my eyes on it yeah you want you want to keep your eyes on it because like this uh, you want to watch uh, what they're doing not necessarily what they're saying yeah because depending on some of the bellwethers that are going on with some of the elections tonight uh if there's a certain way that the winds change and let's just say uh, Congress takes over and it, it's it's a Republican Congress, you know you're going to go... And this is not getting political. This is just saying stating the obvious. If it goes the other direction, they're not going to go through... They're not going to go for all this spending. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, so uh, I would just say watch it because as you can see, if you remember the Solyndras and all the other ones, and you can go back to the beginning of uh, March and April when the hype was of all these bills getting spent, you saw, you've saw you seen in all these stocks that we've covered for weeks and weeks and weeks, they have the hype is dead and everything. All that was all up on some of these uh, these these green stocks and everything, and now they're just they're just all shot right now because they're waiting on this bill to get passed. When that when whatever bill gets passed. Uh, stuff's going to skyrocket up. There will be news, and you see, you will see these to go up. It's just you should probably get in while the going's cheap. It's just you see a red line. It's not a bad thing. A red line's not always a bad thing, but we're going to move on to the, to the next stock, and uh, we're going to see uh, what we have. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my foot here. Uh, we're going to see what we got on the next one. Let's do it there, uh, Kage. Huh? Okay, let's do it. Okay, guys, the next stock we have is ARTL, ARTL, Artello Biosciences Incorporated. Last tick was 0 0.9600. Uh, currently, over the last, uh, obviously, year to date, you had a high spike at about 3 bucks. Now, that's around that same time, the Brandon Q card thing, and then you have a complete drop-off. And then you're at 2 bucks, and then you have another complete drop-off. So they've given you... On this graph, they've given you the on, on market watch here, they've given you the buy points. Now we do have a jump, and that jump what what since it's bioscience, there's probably a news or breakthrough, a phrase. We're gonna go into that and analyze what that is because like I said, we're not gonna sit here and go with graphs and tell you when to get in and buy in. That's not what we do. What we do is we go in and we tell you about what you're investing in. At least we try the best. We don't get all the information. But we can get in uh, a lot of it. So looking at what they do, they're developer stage in the development stage company, which engages in discovering licensing and development of commercialization treatments that uh, modulate the endocannabinoid system. The company was founded by James Manley and is headquartered in the People's Republic of uh, California. So you got another one. Uh, the good news about that is if they're working on cannabinoid studies, that's a cannabinoid friendly state, which is good. Uh, what have you brought up so far there, uh, Kage, on your end about this? Well, I'm just looking at the graphs and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, uh, looks like it's being promoted, I think. Yeah, it's being promoted for sure. Yeah. There's a lot of people promoting it, yes. Yeah, and just there's, uh, confusion with some of these, uh, comments that I'm reading. From are, the, are you uh, seeing, are you seeing, uh, Stockwitz? Are you this, uh, this stock? Are you seeing anything negative that the listeners uh, should know about as far as that any any negativity as far as from what people any old holders that got it in cheap? Hmm. I'm not seeing uh, old holders that got it in the cheap warning others to stay away. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll go on oh, the wait, web. Wait, hold on. There's a <laughs> there's kind of a uh, 
one where uh, the guy is uh, having a fork. He almost stabs his eye, but he has an eye patch on. Yeah. He's uh, got a cork on the fork or something. So I guess that's uh, one of those uh, learn from his mistakes, I guess. Yeah, and it, it looks like, so going into what, what would you say they do here, uh, they're leading the industry in research and development of robust pipeline of novel and endocannabinoid system modulating therapeutics. Their programs have the potential to dramatically improve patient care in major markets where significant unmet needs exist. Uh, what they do is they deliver and promise new medicines to treat wide-range diseases, conditions for patients needed for outcomes. By doing so, they create value for patients, physicians, and investors. So they're basically giving patients and doctors and, and uh, uh, physicians other types of, of medical professionals another uh, option besides loading people up with drugs, it looks like. Uh, they deliver and promise bringing science and validation to endocannabinoid therapeutics potential, creating a value for patients, healthcare providers, and investors to realize the goals that they do. Uh, they apply proven pharmaceutical development to rigor, rigor initiatives, protect intellectual property and portfolio value, and deliver therapies with patients with unmet needs. Because as you can see out there, I don't know if some people are familiar with the healthcare. Uh, you know, certain healthcare places are good and certain aren't, but certain ones, you're just a number in the system. And they're just like, uh, take this pill, go away, take, take, drop a freaking uh, clonopin and uh, go to bed and see you in the next morning you'll feel good. I mean, that's what some of them do. Uh, we've heard these stories over and over from lots of, I, I'm familiar with a lot of people that were cannabinoid, that, not cannabinoid, but opioid users, and they were just t telling them, take the pill and you're good, and then they feel like, they feel worse. So I'm not, I'm not anti-cannabinoid treatment. What about you? Well, I don't really condone the uh, use of herbal substances, but mm -hmm. uh, I'll just say that cannabis can be used for great good mm -hmm. or it can be used for great evil. Yeah, exactly. There, there's there's two sides of it, which side you're using it for. You know, if you're using it for medical stuff, good for you. Uh, if you do it recreation, that's your business, but uh, just don't overuse and everything like that where you can't think or nothing like that. So you, use it your own your own deal there. But they have five guiding principles to empower uh, corporate culture, provide uh, prioritize innovation, act with trust and integrity, foster teamwork. Yeah, they always do that. Uh, let's see if we can find stuff in their pipeline. They have several studies in the pipeline, and this is huge because here's the thing on these. These are different socks than others. And news makes money. Remember that. News always makes money if you're new. If you're not new, then you don't, you obviously, this is repetitive. So, if they hit one of these clinical studies, Kage, they will. Uh, that th you're gonna see another. You're gonna see another high point drop point or a high point on these stocks. So in one of the pipelines, they have. Uh, it's called ART two seven one three. It's a high potency cannabinoid uh, agonist program for cancer related anorexia and weight loss. So uh, they use a CB. CB1, CB2 receptor, potent full agonist. Phase 1 study subjects with lower back pain were otherwise healthy demonstrated statistically significant increased body weight versus drug exposure. Phase 1 and 2 study in process. Now that, that's huge in a sense with back point pain because I would rather give that to people for back pain than give them a bunch of freaking opioids and jack their system up. I know one guy... It was so jacked up from uh, opioids, he basically was so in pain and his gut was rotted out that he basically ate himself to death because he literally ate himself to death with McDonald's and everything like that because he just gave up because he was so fried from everything. So it, it was actually a sad thing to see, to see a guy eat himself to death. But you can really eat yourself to death. And not I'm not talking about skin and stuff. I'm talking about going to McDonald's and Chick-fil-A uh, 24 hours a day every day. It, it, it'll kill you. So that, that's what some of these things do. They, they rot your brain and everything like that. And I'm not talking about the cannabinoid side. I'm talking about the opioid side. So uh, their formulation and intellectual property formulated once a day oral capsules. Two patents issued on one pending application. New chemically en entity structural distinct uh, photocannabinoids. Uh, peripherally targeting uh, receptors in the body, not the brain. So they're targeting in the body and not the brain. The opportunity for cancer, anorexia, 
uh, syndrome affects greater than 60% of uh, advanced stage cancer patients. So this is why it's important why we passed some of these bills back in 2018 was to help these people. Uh, I know a lot of people are against it, but I'm not against people suffering. Are you? No. No. I, I think cannabis is something that deserves us to uh, research and to use it responsibly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't think it should be just, you know, be all out legal everywhere willy nilly. Yeah. Because there's a chance for people to misuse it for the wrong purposes. Yeah, so. and I, I'm, all, I'm all for the medical use because you got too many people that are suffering. And if this helps them and this is this is what they got to do, then that's what it is. They also have CACS, a non-regulated authorized medicine. No current FDA, MHRA, or EMA approved therapies exist for CACS. Now, in 2020, ASCO guidelines recommend no specific pharmaceutical intervention as a standard use of care. Potential future applications for anorexia beyond cancer. So with this, like I said, when these things hit, there are certain phases, and they go to phase one, phase two, phase three, they pop in news. So you have a chance to get into phase two, the news pops, you could short, it drops, you get in back in the cheap and you wait for the next phase if you get what I'm saying and if the if, if you're following along here. If you're not, then maybe you're falling asleep. These are some of the safest economical stocks and that's why I talk about them. You got anything to add to that? Uh, no, I don't really have anything to add to that. Oh. Um, medical stocks are always uh, going to be reliable. They're mm -hmm. usually going to be stable because people are going to need healthcare mm -hmm. and they're always going to need some kind of hems for their conditions. Yeah, they're not like a restaurant. They're not going to get shut down if uh, certain things happen and things like that. They got to medical stuff has to keep on flowing and flowing and flowing because technology changes just like computers and stuff like that. So, they have a a, a CARES trial. It's currently AR ART27 is the focus of randomized placebo controlled uh, the cancer appetite recovery study. The, the, the CARES trial aims to determine a safe and effective dose as well as activity for ART27 in terms of lean body mass, weight gain, improving anorexia, uh, KRS uh, currently enrolling patients for numerous sites. Uh, so that's the, that's the other thing. After going through chemo and all this and people aren't sick or, are sick and everything like that, guys, on some of these cancer stocks, not only... Uh, are you, uh, you know, you're not only are you investing to help yourself, but like I've said in other videos, you're helping mankind. So you could lose your butt and everything like that, but it's almost like donating some of your money to help the greater good of mankind because cancer sucks, man. Uh, people suffer, and I mean, I had an uncle and he had his freaking guts rotted out, it was bad. So, uh, anything to do with that kind of stuff, if we can help along. Even if they don't succeed, it's still, you know, at least you put your money to a good cause. Now, going into any of the news here, uh, are you seeing any news popping on this one at all? Uh, no news about what changed or anything. Okay. I, no, have, uh, I have something on uh, Stock Telegraph. On Stock Telegraph, I have, I have a plug here. It says, Vernon Bernardino, an analyst for H.C. Wainwright, recently rated ARTL stock buy as a set of a $4 price target, so he's setting that. He's not that far off because, like I said, when it hits the phase, the next phase, it's going to go up. He said this represents approximately 459% premium to the last closing price. Vernon Bernardino thinks that ART2713 will is a lead candidate for ARTL stock and is a potential enough for the first FDA-approved therapy for cancer anorexia syndrome or CACS. So, if they hit that, you're not going to see these prices anymore, Kage. I'm already going to tell you that it's going to go up and you're, people are going to miss out. And like I said, it's one of the economic proof. If Say if you're not a crypto person and you don't understand that kind of stuff, because there's a lot of older folks that watch the program, they, they, just, they don't understand it, they don't want to get into it because it's not their thing. There's still money to be made in pharmaceuticals, so... Uh, Bernardino is also pointing out the elimination of CBD poly polymorphins, uh, a co-crystal of cannabinoid uh, thermal thermoprazine TMP. Uh, he has a, he has a publication of the study results. He said in August 4, 2021, 
The ARTL stock did announce the publication of the study results in the peer-reviewed uh, Journal of Cannabis and Cannabinoids. In the publication, it said ARTL stock discussed comparisons between vitro effects of purified natural synthetic forms of cannabinoid, uh, cannabinoidal. The study team did not uh, find significant vitriol pharmacological difference between purified and natural versus synthetic CBD. Uh, so there you have it on that. My call on this one, I'm not going to read through the other uh, articles there, but I will say that, like I said, it's all about phases in this one. What about you? What would you say? Um, with this one, I would uh, probably just keep a watch and mm -hmm. uh, stay out of it until you uh, know exactly what your price point is and then and then make your own decision about whether you want to get on the cheap or if it's starting to rise. Yeah, and my, my recommendation was be, be to find the buy point if you can get in on the cheap end. There's always going to be a cheap end. Don't ever think there's always going to be a cheap end. I can give you an example of uh, Osman Cometh. Osman Cometh, on, he's a contributor to the show. He bought in on NSAV uh, last week. He got in in, in, the four, in, the high, in the low fours, I think, close to early fives. And he he's still he's still up a little bit. Uh, he's in for the long haul, uh, but he got in on the cheap for Ski Low Friday. If you just wait for Thursday Ski Low Friday, you can get in on some of these, and you won't get you won't get taken as long as you play your cards right. So you just gotta do your research and search everything, and don't rely on you don't don't rely on just one search engine. Check out many search engines and things like that. So. Uh, did you see anything on Stockwitz that's significant, or should we just move on to the next one? I say let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's do it. Okay, guys, the next stock we have is ENDP. ENDP, currently being promoted again, so watch out. Uh, the last tick on this one was $5.09. Uh, year to date on this one, same pattern. Uh, you got Q card and Brandon effect. You got $10 shoot up. Everything's looking good. The hype's all there. And then we take a skyfall. The shorters get out around 8, 7 and change. You can see the graph on the screen. Uh, and then you have a little bit of swing pattern. So you could get it, you could have got in at this thing uh, in July at about 250, traded it for five, and then dumped it all the way down to a buck, about a buck, two bucks. And then you're back in. You got you got you got the steadily the resistance goes up before any drop-offs, and you're good here. Um Going into what they do, uh, they operate a pharmaceutical company and focuses on developing, manufacturing, distributing, and branding of generic pharmaceutical products. Huge on this because people are going to need their gener ge uh, generics because the price of prescriptions are just going to go through the roof. So that, there's a plus right there in that one. Uh, also distributing branded generic pharmaceutical products, the company... Uh, operates through the following segments, branded uh, pharmaceuticals, sterile injectables, generic pharmaceuticals, and international pharmaceuticals. The branded pharmaceutical segment contains certain operations in the U.S. through the leased and owned operation properties in Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, as well as certain administrative R&D functions through the leased uh, properties in Pennsylvania. The sterile injectable segment conducts certain manufacturing quality assurance, R&D administrations, and functionalities. The, genetic, the generic uh, pharmaceutical segments contain manufacturing, distributing quality assurances, and administrative functions. It's uh, headquartered in Dublin, Ireland. I'm from Dublin. Uh, uh, <laughs> what say you? You got your freaking uh, Irish knickers on there or what? Uh, I don't have uh, knickers, but uh, I do have Irish. <laughs> Irish in me, so are you fight? Are you fighting Irish or no? <laughs> uh, I'd probably say uh, like a uh, eighth Irish. I think. I, I think I'm fighting Irish, Italian, uh, Moroccan. I think is where I'm at. So, but uh, looks like going on here. Sorry, their website's kind of it's kind of hard to read here. It looks like going into their overview. They have a long history of evolving company in order to develop and deliver different types of high quality products to consult and pursue and address many needs for patients when uncompromising uh, commitment to delivering life enhancing therapies. Uh, looks like they're working on endo pharmaceuticals, par pharmaceuticals, endo aesthetics, and uh, paladin labs. 
Uh, they're currently focusing on allergen Im immunotherapy, which is huge. How many people get affected by allergies, especially uh, with all the stinking construction going on? Uh, you also have pollution waves that come over from China and they drift into California and all through our, our, our air, so that doesn't help. Uh, they're working on a puberty study, interesting. Dermatology, infectious disease, insomnia, orthopedics, urology, men's health, and cellulite. So they've got many things uh, in in the hyper there. Uh, sorry, in the hopper there. Uh, looks like they're uh, they're working for branded pharmaceuticals, sterile injectable generic products, and aesthetic artistry. Uh, in their responsibility, uh, we're not going to go into that for their responsibility. Uh, they have they have certain suppliers here we can go and look at. I found an interesting article about ENDP. It says Al Alabama resolved claims against drug maker Endo International PLC over its alleged role in opioid epidemic, and it settled talks with distributor uh, McKelson Corp, uh, putting on hold the trial of the states against two companies that were set up to begin money. The settlement is ongoing. Negotiations revealing the filing on Sunday. Uh, spokespeople Anthony General, Steve uh, Marshall's office, and Endo declined to comment. Uh, the court knows the state completed the settlement with Endo and other defendants. The state continued to work through the mediator to resolve issues. Uh, in response, the judge Gaines on Monday set a new trial date of April 18th, 2022. So we'll see you in uh, 2022 on that one. So that was something that popped up there. Uh, you also have, uh, there's a billion dollar opioid trial, uh, things like that. Uh, let's see yeah, what else here. It's got controversy behind it. No it's got a little controversy. Got what What do you got? Really? You also have this uh, Seeking Alpha California news. It says California court, hand, California court hands endo and other opioid procedures temporarily win in liability trial. So you also have that news. What are you seeing on Stockwitz on your end? Uh, it looks like there's a lot of uh, risk involved uh, with some of these ones that have been talking. Um, oh, well, we all know that. Like, as far as yeah. there's in stocks, there's all risk. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. But you, but more so than usual. I'm in a class, um, I'm in a class action lawsuit with one. They're trying to give me either 50 cents a share or a dollar something for the, somebody manipulated. Because we have these manipulators out there that do that. That's why we're here to protect you from that and uh, try to shield you from some of these manipulators. That's why we say some of these are promoted. So, because yeah. some of these companies yeah, like this, to, uh, this looks like it's just being uh, pumped up and getting ready to uh, get sold off for a short. I think. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I'd say just put it on a watch list, see how it goes. Uh, it was interesting to cover, you know, certain things. If anybody else has anything to add, leave it in the comments section. Uh, like I said, if no one claims a gift card tomorrow, we're coming back with more. And uh, pick it up or online on your health food store. That's your fiber stem there. Uh, get off the get off the soda and pick yourself up some fiber sin. Maybe I'll give a, end up giving out one of these as a consolation prize too one time when I do the next gift card drawing after I give away the AMC gift card. Leave your comments; they always get counted. Do you have anything else to add there, Kage? Uh, no. Uh, we uh, we did a good show tonight. I uh, look forward to doing another. Yeah. Sometime soon. Yep. We'll we'll be on tomorrow again. Uh, be here, be nowhere. Don't make it a dog show. And good night now!